We're back. Hello, YouTubes. I'm Grimwit. This is Conarium. When last we left off, we were about to walk into the light. There we go. Let's pause that. <laughs> yeah, the the words were pretty much the problem. So, when last we left off, uh, well, I watched enough hentai to know where the uh, tentacle monster stuff was going, and now we've got this... D door? Alright. Oh! Got... Turn me up! I didn't expect that. What? What? Where, where am I? Uh, how did I get here? I have so many fucking questions. When? Did, did I write this before? Okay, yes. This is Frank uh, Gilman's journal. It just feels like things are missing. And my documents are here. Okay, yes. This is Frank Gilman's journal. Have you read the words backwards in your happy voice to know the true distortion of Eldradic principles? Um, sure, let me try. They are where? Why? Uh, going keep to I have I said he. Lost is connection the. It damn. You are where? Please, uncome. Me? Here? You do. Lights the follow and submarines the of one use. Use. Ellipses. Going keep must you but remembering trip. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just realized that all of this text is grammatically correct. That was useful. Thank you for that, Loki. Uh, hmm, Cyclopean. Again, maybe more of an adventure vibe than... To other expedition parties. Is there anyone who can read me? One person is dead, and two others have been injured by the partial ice cave collapse. There is something here with us. Do not come through our expedition route. I repeat, do not come through our expedition route. Yes, I read you. This is Frank. For God's sake, what happened? And please, tell me where I can find you. Frank, do not stray from your path. We have come across something... terrible. Do not come here through our expedition route, no matter what happens. It looks like this fiendish netherworld. 
depends on some kind of energy. An energy that is stored in curious stoneworks similar to an obelisk with crystals on top. And they are able to clear away some of the strange plants. Dr. Faust? Dr. Faust? Oh, come on, not again! This is nonsense. I cannot understand what is going on. Okay, so we're still Frank. Good to know. Words of power have words in power with the power of wingdings. Okay, that's just the same thing. So we have the spooky stairs up. We have the uh, uh, cave out here, which for some reason reminds me of the caves I used to explore in No Man's Sky. Uh, how, about, how about we start with this altar? Ooh. Did you know Wingdings predicted 9-11? Wait, 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 what? It raises more questions than it answers. Okay, well, that was a neat little structure. Um... If the eyes of a killer... Let's go up the spooky route. Do you know Wingdings was the Zodiac Killer? Who oh, I still contend had a great sense of humor. Uh, oh! Wait. <laughs> As I predicted, a race Reptilian in physiology lived inside these ruins after the original builders. The elder things left the area after some unknown cataclysmic event, now lost in an archaic and lost chapter of Earth's history. This relief depicts some reptilian creatures treating an elder thing with reverence. And the other relief with four tall figures, I believe symbolizes empty vessels. Huh. Golems. We've seen the same vessel figures depicted as assuming different roles several times in most of the murals or reliefs we've come across so far. Okay, that's just the uh, relief again. I can't move it. The ice on the track is obstructing the movement. Uh, it won't budge. Uh, uh, I can't budge it. Man, if only I had some kind of... I don't know, some kind of tool that could budge it and chop it away or poke at it. I don't know. Seems, seems like we could have that. Some, maybe some kind of wedge at the end of a lever uh, built in such a way that every time I swing it back, I stab my wrist with a spike on the other end. Seems like that would be pretty useful. Flamethrower. Sure, let me get out my flame. Th oh no, I don't have one. <laughs> that came out more mean than I wanted it to. How do we know these aren't the actual golems? Although they're going to be real surprised when they come to life and they don't have any feet. Well, 
once again, I, I just got done playing Genshin, and I want to mine this. I really do. I want to pull out Noel right now and just start smacking this thing with a hammer sword. The whole, the whole place is like that. Not real sure why the expedition guys didn't do that. Of how much those crystals would sell for. Stupid questions get stupid answers. Yeah, yeah. I'm somewhere in between wanting to be compassionate and kind to people, and just really wanting to twist the knife. Like being a sadistic Buddhist is is really hard. We must reduce the suffering in the world, but you know, it is really fun to increase it. Oh hey! Uh, statues of Yigians, I guess. Well, we did see Sethagolian uh, statues underwater. Y yeah! Yeah, this thing. Um, how, how about we put a pause on that? Just, uh... Just thinking about how much Hellraiser I've seen in my life. Sure. Looks like something's missing here. Mom's missing. have to make sure that what suffering is done right at the ones who don't do the suffering but tend to inflict it. I understand the idea of punishment. I don't think it actually works. Um, the idea is that you relate the person's activity to pain, but I think the human brain is complicated enough so that that kind of correlation doesn't necessarily happen. The connection doesn't connect. These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. I don't know. It certainly doesn't help um, in the other direction, right? Like, seeing somebody else get imprisoned for a crime will not stop that person from imprisoning because the people who commit crimes usually aren't thinking so since they're not thinking about it then there's no actual wow how did this get so philosophically fucked while we're exploring this cave this looks neat let's poke it this stonework seems weak this wall seems weak. I think I can tear it down with some effort. I can see light coming through a crack in the wall. The other side is probably hollow. Looks like this wall could be teared down with an effort. Stonework seems loose here. This stonework seems weak. I wonder how many times this actor had to say different things like that. I wish I could pull out my axe and start a chopping. Have we explored everything? Something's missing. I'm missing something. Let me quickly run back to the beginning and see if there's a direction I could have taken but didn't. Why can't you use the axe? That is a very good question, Doomlad. Perhaps Frank Gilman does not know how to use an axe. Also, once again, have you seen this axe? Like, imagine swinging this axe while holding the lower portion. Fuck! Imagine swinging the axe while holding the upper portion. Either way you swing this axe, you're gonna stab yourself. I think this is decorative. That gra <laughs> that axe is not grammatically sound. Oh, oh, that's a bit of blood. I would like to jump into the lake. Nope, that was not the jump button. That was the inventory button. With the ice, I can understand. Clearing the ice is very hard. You, you've got to swing this axe from the side. 
I think the main problem is that this axe is uh, not meant to be used. Okay. Okay, so I need something to place into the uh, the Hellraiser stick. Um, we got around here. See, I looked at this and nothing's fancy. Ooh, I didn't look at this. Uh, nothing to see. Right over here. See if the others are. It's not working. He's dead. Dead. Okay. Four dead obelisks. What's this in the middle? No, I can't walk into the middle. Look. Okay. I need some way to chop away the ice to slide the uh, the weird light eyeball into place and then use it to fire at these vines to clear the way. I'm right, right? These will go to the vines? No, no. So why am I doing this? Oh well. Let's assume that's not what I have to do. Thank God the run speed is nice. Let's take a closer look at this altar. I kind of want to jump on top of it. Don't know why. Black mirror is nice, but uh, oh, I have a uh, I have a flashlight in my hand. Ah! Just blinded myself. I haven't really needed the flashlight so far. Hey, plants! These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. The way ahead is blocked by this curious vegetation. Part of the strange flora is blocking the way here. These ivy-like plants are blocking okay. the way. Might have been something here. You know, I just realized we're hearing a lot of stones fall, which by itself, all right, that's fine. But they have been falling for like millions of years. You think this sort of erosion would give a bigger problem? Oh no, this is the other, this is the, just the other hallway, okay. Another axable problem, agreed. Ex well, those ax, those vines apparently from story are semi-sentient and can attack or some shit. So maybe not. Once again, I'm, I'm starting to think that, yeah, the, uh, the vines are just decorative. Or not the vines, the ax is just decorative. way ahead is blocked by this curious vegetation. You know what? The axe can solve this, though. We can put the axe in there and use it to twist. Am I... am I stuck? Hmm. Could also be chunks of ice, not rock. I guess that's true. But if that were true, that would be a different kind of erosion, and then the place would freeze over and be covered in ice. Okay, I'm stuck. Oh! Oh, 
Well, maybe not. I'm liking the ambient music in the background. Reminds me of Cryo Chamber. Did Cryo Chamber do this music? Well, Cryo Chamber's a label, but you know what I mean. Like your spiky Hellraiser top, please. Looks like something's missing here. Damn, again. Huh. Seashells that she sells. reliefs or anything? That just goes back. Are the lens receptacles? Oh. They are lens receptacles. That makes sense. I have no lens. But I do have a flashlight. I wonder if I can put the flashlight there. Looks like something's missing here. So what's your deal? Hmm. Hmm. How about it, buddy? What's your theme? Adding it? We've got plenty of crystals out here that we could axe off. And turn them into lenses. Lizard. Lizrad. Okay. Not making progress over here. Let's check this hallway a little bit. Good ambience in this hallway, though. Still getting an alien feel. In this sort of keyhole-shaped hallway. So, if that's true, is there a similar place that I've missed on the other side? Is this, uh... Not similar, what's the word? Symmetrical. Mm, doesn't seem so. Alright, back here again. I'm open to ideas. Oh. That's something I want above my doorway. We've got several mysteries going on in here, several problems that I don't know how to solve any. We've got two things which pr probably require lenses. Okay, I'll give you that. We've got a wall that I can't bust open, not even without an axe. We've got a light that can slide into place if there was some way to melt the ice. Huh. What did 
I do last time when I thought this was... I, I was stuck? Oh yeah, that's right, I found that handle. I'm sitting in a crate. I don't know if I have to revisit areas. And it doesn't seem like they would do something like, um... Hide a key or a key item somewhere that uh, doesn't draw your attention. Nothing's going on with this place, which makes me worry, okay, is there something that I'm missing with this? Is there an item around here that I don't know about? Does the altar have, like, some drawers or something? Nothing's happening with this other than... Oh, spooky. I just realized there's grass growing underground. Huh. Not normal grass, obviously. Normal grass needs sunlight. Take another look at this place. Somebody who's played the game already while watching this on YouTube is probably screaming at the screen right now, going, "No, no, turn left, turn, turn, turn right. You missed it. You passed, you passed right by it. You're looking right at it." wondering if maybe that's the thing. Nothing's standing out. There's plenty of good artwork in this game. Like this this thing being uh, designed the way that it is. Huh. I'm not sure this is something I can think my way through. It's not a puzzle, per se. It's more like a uh, Easter egg hunt. Not like literal, not like East game Easter I mean like actually looking for Easter eggs. Am I, am I overthinking it? It's a hidden item game. Well, I mean, it is adventure game tradition to have at least one item that you have to pixel hunt for. Heck, even in uh, text games, that can be the case. There is such an item in uh, Anchorhead, for example. Can I go here? No. Uh, where you have to open a bush... And there's no indication that this bush is any different from any other bush. But that bush is important for finding a door that will help you complete the game. You cannot complete the game without knowing that this is the bush that you have to mess around with. And I consider that a text version of a pixel hunt. And 
honestly, I think that that's what this is. There's a thing. There's a thing around here. And I'm either blind or they've hidden it. And because of me not being able to find that thing, I can't advance. And that's kind of like a pixel hunt. That doesn't make this a bad game. I think a more line makes it a normal... It's, got, it's, got, it's just a normal trope with adventure games. Not to be confused with a Pixar hunt. Oh yeah, Toy Story 4. Is there a Toy Story 4? You know, I joke about it, but there might actually be a Toy Story 4. Wait, 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 wait. Is there something in the mirror that is giving me a clue, or is that my imagination? Do I think that they're more clever than, am I giving them too much credit? I think I'm giving him too much credit. Go typical rub my face against the wall to find things. I don't think there was a clue. Was there a clue about these guys being excavators? But they didn't tell me how to control them if that was the case. They mentioned the obelisks with things on top, but uh, we've already indicated that these are all dead. What that means. This obelisk is dead. It's not working. It is dead. Dead. This obelisk is dead. I mean, in here it's clearly... It's clearly visible what we have to do, right? There's a track to push this along. What was that? Is that just decoration? Yeah, it's just All right, guys. Um, shoot, what do I do? This is like my second time making the rounds around this place looking for something that I could have picked up but didn't. Should I go ahead and resort to a walkthrough? Give me just a second. Have you tried following the maze? Solving to... Make sure you didn't miss anything. You mean like follow the left wall, that kind of thing. You know what? A lot of these guides are in Russian. What the heck? Okay, this is an achievement guide. That doesn't help, actually, because it didn't say how to do these things. This, that, you should. Wow, there's no walkthrough in written format. <laughs> Hilarious.
Notice that with some games they have a huge Russian following. That might be the case with this one. Okay. Defeated on the walkthrough front. Interesting. That actually usually means one of two things. Either one, this game was not played a lot. Or two, it's so obvious that everybody eventually worked it out for themselves. Um, a couple of people already knew about this game. I've already had one guy ask if I was going to be running through this game. So, it's probably not the first one. I think people have played this game. This was gifted to me. Uh, some, a couple of people outside of me have already mentioned it, including one commenter. Hey, dude. I'm not in a position to look up your name right now. But I remember you. So, it's the second. Yeah? Did you use the torch on the ivy? Let's try it out. I think I've tried to shine the light on the ivy like this. But, uh, oh! Hello. It's not working. Nah, that one's broken too. can't get through. Can I crouch through? No. This is properly blocked. Hmm. Well, you know what just occurred to me is I haven't actually seen this guy crouch before. Hello. Oh, it's not letting me crouch. Walk away, crouch, and then start hobbling towards the mirror. Oh, he just stands up as I approach the mirror. We don't want to show you what he looks like crouching. I'm surprised they even thought of that, honestly. I really feel like whatever it is, it's around the altar. Is there a button back here? No. Hey, wait a second. Okay, they have the exact same texture on the back of both of these bookcases. Can I grab a candle, maybe? Somebody... Somebody lit these candles. They took the time to light these candles. And they're just like, you know what? I've got a couple of matches. I mean, we have an infinite amount of matches. I can just, and candles apparently, I can just light these candles. One, two, three, four, five. It takes like three seconds to light each candle because the wicks are so cold. Maybe more than three seconds because I mean, it's Antarctica. Get behind there, no. I hop on top of the uh, altar and dance around, no. I will give them that there isn't the exact same placement of candles on uh, each of the bookcases, even though they have the same um, you know they got the same texture covering it. Huh. I'm at a loss. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end the uh, the episode early. And just do, do some resource searching. See if we can't find something as to what to do next. Because uh, it's starting to become a problem. So let's go ahead and switch back to break. And when we come back... We'll have figured this out, or cheated our weaselly little guts out, one, one or the other. 